What is up guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope every single one of you is having a fantastic day. See you guys, I'm today with my friend Marco. He's helping me film this video. And this video is a tutorial how to make underwater bubble rings. Because the audio is bad on this camera, I'm just gonna go home and do a voiceover of the whole video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss any one of my videos. And check out Marco's channel. His channel will be in the description. And yeah, guys, I just hope you enjoyed the video. So peace out. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is learn the position of the body. When you dive in, you can either put your legs somewhere so you can hold it yourself like I did. I put my legs under the metal thing, I don't know what it's called. Or you can call your friend and he can stand on you or hold you just so you don't go up on the surface. After that, your body and your head needs to be parallel with the surface of the water. You can't do it if you are not parallel with the surface because the air is going right to the surface at 90 degrees and if your body isn't at 90 degrees with the surface, your rings won't be as good. I mean I can do it but I'm a professional underwater bubble blower and I can do it in any position. But for a beginner you need to be parallel with the surface of the water. The second thing is when you're underwater pinch your nose with your two fingers like I did so air doesn't come out of your nose and water comes in. After that fill your mouth full of air, here's a little demonstration. After that just make a big puff and let the air out. Make your mouth as the letter O while doing so. If you're not letting enough air out, this happens. Just a reminder, Marco never did this, so he was a perfect example for this video. And yeah, I also found that Cody Miller did this tutorial, but he explained it in a different way. He stuck his tongue out and did it. I'm bad at this method, as you can see, but Marco is kind of good. I mean, he's better than what we saw before, right? So yeah guys, choose your method, test and learn, find a way to make it work, practice is key, go do it every day, before, after, or in the middle of practice, I don't care. Just try to stay out of trouble. If your rings are small and not defined, try blowing some more air out, and if you're letting too much air out, try to cut it a little, and after when you finally learn it, add more air so the bubbles will be more defined. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below, I read every comment, literally every single comment, and I will surely answer your questions. Leave a like and share to friends if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss any one of my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Take off.